Hey, look, we must, you know, Christians learn, learn, learn intelligence. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Nope. No, no wonder your name is Remix. He is doing remixing. Look at this. A Satan, the Satan, and Satan is different, brother. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is the best remix ever. <laughs> this is the best remix. Let us go back to the other idiot. And then he says that uh, they have eyes and they don't see, and they have ears, but they don't hear. They are the same as animals. Let us see who is the animal. Your stupid God is the one who made them not to see. Isn't it the stupid Quran says that Allah, he made them not to see. Khatam Allahu ala qulubihim. Just to show you how stupid your God is. So you are complaining why you don't see, right? But isn't it your stupid Quran says that Allah is the one who sealed their eyes and their heart and their ears. Chapter 2 verse number 7. Who is the donkey now? So now you gave me a verse says, you have eyes you don't see, you have ears you don't hear, you have heart but you don't feel. But the Quran says Allah has sealed their heart and their ears and what the heck? So the stupid verses you gave me is a horrible because what Allah he just did now, he is complaining that he will send them to hell because they don't see and they don't hear. They have eyes, but who is the one who sees their eyes? Allah. Who is? <laughs> now I know why the Chinese, they said he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Now we can just go back to Remix. Mr. Remix, so Shaitan is different from Shaitan? How is that? How the Shaitan is different from Shaitan? Look at this deep, man. Look at this. Guys, he is saying the Satan is different than Satan. Man, that's hot. The Satan is different from Satan. And you know, going back to the animals, I will switch between them. The Quran is saying that those who don't hear, don't understand, they are like animals, they are misguided. But isn't it stupid Quran says is the one who misguided them is Allah? And who is the animal? Is the one who thinks that hell is coming from mountains in heaven? The one who think that sperm is coming from the backbone and women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. And the animal is the one who teach you to be an animal and have sex with the children. And yet he is calling non-Muslim animals. Who is the animal? No, we will never allow such a filthy mouth to be in our program again. We have thousands of videos of him calling recorded. We have enough for them. Don't ask me to speak to such a filthy. You want to help? Bring me a shake. We don't want to have more filthy kids. We don't want to go down to his level. And you have Abdul. So he want to prove to you. And look, if I call the Muslims animal, the Muslim, they will say, look, Christian Prince is calling us animals. Look at this filthy religion. They are calling us animals. Actually, there's a guy, his name is Dawa Guy. He stand, he have a Mercedes Benz behind him. He don't work, he make money just from YouTube. And uh, he said, look at those animals. These are better from the Christians. And the phone he is using is made by non-Muslims. The car is made by non-Muslims. The, the clothes he's wearing are made by in China for sure. And he is talking that the cows are better than them. When you want to do one life in a French, somebody spoke, to, so I told you I speak French. I don't speak French, my friend. The only French I know that you have to add Lou before any word, like Lou are welcome to debate me. Lou Muhammad is an idiot, and Lou Allah is shish kebab. There we go, I spoke French. Do we have any brave Muslim? Shaitan is different from Shaitan. That's deep. 
You see, the Quran says that non-Muslims are cattle, but your answers prove that you are the cattle. You are the kind who believe that shit, you have a shaitan, he sleep with your wife. And yet shaitan is invisible. And shaitan, he sleep in your nose, but yet he have a penis can go inside your wife. And not only that, he will make a bretnet in the French way. How as a creature in the size, he go in the size of your booger. He piss in your ears. Look, look hold on, hold on. Let's, let us show you who is the cattle. This is your shake, the shaky shake, telling you what the prophet wisdom is about. Huh? Read. Who is the cattle? The one who have no brain. Cattle have more brain than you. As holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time. Satan urinates in their ears. I really do. Who is the animal? So you call us animals? You believe that there's a person, his name is Shaitan. He sleep in your nostrils and he piss in your, in your ears? And you believe that Shaitan, he take hair from your anus when you pray? And you accept that. You know what? Donkeys will not accept such a thing. Donkeys have better brain than yours. What about you do this? Can you take a video of your anus when you pray to prove to us that what your prophet said is true, that shaitan, he take care from your anus five times a day? I keep asking the Muslim to do it. Nobody there. Cowards, liars. Because if they do it, they will expose their prophet. It's going to be a miracle. Your, your video will hit millions, man. Put the camera slow motion behind your anus when you pray. People will see the hair in your anus is being stretched out as the hadith says, because the shaitan will stretch out the hair. Stretch out, why? Do you have six foot hair there? What do you mean stretch out? How you can stretch it out? How long the hair in your anus? Like what the heck with this hair? The hair in the anus is going to stretch it out and then he will pull it and he will not stop until he calls the Muslim to fart. Is that how you smell? So you Muslim, you go to the mosque and shaitan, he make you fart in the mosque. Is that why the mosque smells so bad? And you are talking about the cattle? Which cattle in the world will accept such a story? I feel sorry for your anus, man. Actually, I will not. I will never convert to Islam. So somebody was going to touch my. I will never do that. What a horrible religion! What kind of a prophet he says such a stories? Do you have a brain? For a second. By the way, do you have an insurance over your anus? Because look, look like you are targeted. I'm telling you, your anus is a target, my friend. Don't go to Texas. They might use it as a target practice because shaitan is using it. I mean, your anus is, in, is under a big, you know? You cannot because you are cursed. Ah, look, Remix, he, you know, Remix is enjoying the hair in his anus taking off. Hey, Christian Prince, you cannot be a Muslim, you are cursed. <laughs> Did you hear about the pimp who convert to Islam? He is not cursed. <laughs> and the Muslims are so proud, a pimp. <laughs> Interview from channel to channel. The pimp brother, I mean, he have videos of himself having sex and beating women and playing with his penis. And what the Muslims they do? They interview him, mashallah, alhamdulillah. A pimp. Do you see who will leave Islam? Just watch my video yesterday, the decent one. The decent one, the wonderful one. Who convert to Islam? Criminals, pimps, because Islam fit perfectly for them. In fact, there's a video in, in Hatun. Hatun, go watch it. Three Muslims, they were talking about in their channel 
that it's okay to be a pimp in Islam. And this is from the chapter of Al-Asab. Go watch it. Do we have any one, any two, any three? The one is cursed, my friend, is you. Don't you see that all of you, you dream to go to the Western areas where the one is cursed? I mean, if we are cursed, why you dream to come to our to, to those countries? We are cursed. All of you, nobody want to live. If, if the West opened their door, not a single Muslim will stay in his country. Why? Because we are cursed, right? You're right. Anyway, I think we have a good time today. As you see, you guys are not, you are not inviting, uh, you know, any shake, any potatoes, anything. So, you know, and the Muslims, they are like, go and they want to debate this guy and that guy. But when it's come to me, they are, you know, the only one call, it, call me is Fakira. Fakira, who became a girl from Senegal. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, uh, I really appreciate you all. I hope you guys enjoying what I do here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can join us in Patreon. It's for free. You do not need to donate anything. Patreon just to receive uh, uh, notification because YouTube sometimes don't send notification. When I go live, you'll receive notification in, in Patreon. Uh, uh, you know, always, when we share knowledge, sometimes we have to repeat the same thing 1,000 times. And sometimes it might be like boring, but you know, always you need to remember that we do that for a very simple reason. Because there's many people they never heard this before. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Uh, hold on, let me mute the YouTube. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I see you're about to leave. It's okay. I will take no problem. I will talk to you. You spoke to me before, right? Yeah, we talked before. Uh, I was uh, now nah, I kind of left Islam. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm studying Christianity. All right. And um, uh, I I I ask you if you can talk about the uh, the Trinity and all that. Yeah, you want to talk about it now? What you mean? Uh, I I see you're tired. We can talk. No, no, about no. I'm not tired because but uh, there's nobody is calling, so no problem. The Trinity, my friend, is very simple. Yeah, I have a question. Like, Go ahead. So I was reading the Bible, right? And I can't understand why God said, like, Jesus, if Jesus is God, why did he pray to himself, right? I mean, he's he not praying to, to himself. You see, this is what Trinity is. When Jesus, he speaks, he speaks to the Father. If, 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 if there is only one person, we Christian, we believe in three persons, not one person. So God, the Father, is a person. God, the Son, is a person. God, the Holy Spirit, is a person. So when Jesus, he prayed to the Father, he prayed to the Father. The Father is the other person. When we say God is one, doesn't mean number, mean unity. The word in Hebrew is Echad. Echad does not mean as one number. This is why the Bible says that the, the, the man, he leave his family, his parents, and he will be married to a woman, and both of them, they will become Echad. The same word, it says your God is Echad. So your God is one, but Echad, not one as a number. So when Jesus speaks, he speaks to the Father. Now, if you say, well, if uh, God is one, uh, how God is speaking, do we have to God? No, God is one, but as a unity, which means that God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, three as one in the mind, in the will, in the target, in the plan, in the creation, in everything. And we as a Christian, we believe that Jesus himself is born of the Father. That's why Jesus, he say, Everything I have is given to me from my father. So we don't believe in second God and third God and fourth God. We believe that God is one. Everything belongs to him. And this God is a person as a father. This God is a person as a son. This God is a person as the Holy Spirit. And actually, if you will look around you, you will find everything is based in the, in the Trinity. Not only, not only God, the creation, all the creation. We need air. We need water. And we need light. If one of them is missing, we are not exist. Everything, 
even oxygen which mixed with hydrogen make water it's h2o so the base of life even the quran says which is wrong by the way according to islam why because when he say the quran in the quran says everything is made of water that is a foolish statement of the quran because the quran itself says that the genie made of fire and angels are made of light however so everything around us have the fingerprint of the trinity and you cannot deny it and if you say it's not logical well is it logical that god can make somebody come from grave that's not logical if you say it's logical you know uh, that god he can do miracle no miracle is called miracle because it's not logical Miracle is called miracle because we can't explain, but we witness yes. for it. Um, so, like you're saying, when you say three person, what do you mean by like saying three person? That God is one or three person is three person. I I am a person. You are a person. He is a person. Three person, but Jesus Himself as a person is born of the Father. You see, in in order to understand the Bible, you have to go deep. Not only just like to be shallow. As an example, when if you go to John chapter one verse number one, it says in the beginning it was the word. But in in the, when the Bible speaks about the word, the beginning as a word, this is the logos. The logos is the mind, is the will of God. In the beginning it was the word. So this is Jesus when he was as the mind, as the logos, not a word as a written word. And then the word became a flesh. So the mind of God, the will of God became a flesh he took a body of a human being and he came to us so if you say why god he want to do that the bible answer says for god he loved the world he sent his only begotten son so there's a plan from god to save all mankind including you and me and that plan is very simple there's god who is visible and there's god who is invisible so jesus is the visible image of the invisible god this is when we so, say the world so became a flesh. Why, why Jesus say in Bible that uh, uh, I don't do anything unless, you know, without the, I forgot the words, but he says something like without the permission of the Father. I Not permission. You say, he said, everything I do is given to me from the Father. And the Father, this is why we believe that Jesus is born of the Father. This is why he called him the Father. Why you call, why you say my Father yourself as a human? Why you say the word Father? What does that mean? Yeah, like my dad. Is no, no, what does that mean? No, it's not my dad. It's not my dad. When you say my father is bigger than a dad. Because the second you say my father, this, there's an authority. Mm -hmm. a, a, a dad, you know, dad, dad, you know, I mean, can you know, uh, but the father, the word father is about authority, about authority and where you get your authority from. So Jesus, he got his authority for he is born of the father not the opposite it's not the father is born of the son this is why he is the son and the father is the father so the father is the source of all authority and jesus himself is born of the father so, so when he, i mean it to it doesn't sound like jesus is god if he's he he's if he's, he was like born of something I mean, how can God be born of something? You see, you are, you are asking questions now because you are coming from an Islamic religion background. So you're asking, how can God? Because, so why you call him God? If God cannot, then he cannot. How no, God? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah. You, you I'm, I'm using your logic. I'm using your logic. Like God, when, you, when you say God, Jesus what the what the word God, God right? mean? What the word God mean? I mean, you know, the creator of the universe. No, no, no. What God mean? I'm just giving you my my. Uh, this, My is, this is not right? definition. This is not definition. Created of the world. Uh, what, when we say God, that's mean He is yeah. Almighty. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay. The one who have Almighty is all, Almighty God. Can He do anything, or He cannot? Of course, yes, He can. Okay. Then why you are asking how He can have a son? Doesn't make sense. No, I didn't say. I didn't say how He can have a son. Yeah. I said that if Jesus was created by God, who said or, where? Where in Christianity says Jesus was created by God? Oh, you didn't say like He came from God. I said born of God, not created by God. So like born, you know. Okay, you let me let me let, let me let, let me make it simple for you. Uh, when we say created, that means there's a point of existence and point of no existence. Do we agree? Yes. All right. Uh -huh. But in the case of Jesus, no. Why? 
because he is the Logos and the Logos was always exist. So he was the word and he was always exist. And this is why Jesus says before Abraham, I am. He did not say, oh, I am just born. And the Jews, they say to him, well, how you say such a thing? And you are not even 50 years old. He said, no, I'm talking I am. About, you say that he was like, he's, he was born from God. Do you yeah, say yeah, like, my friend born of God? That's mean that did not mean that God made a delivery like a woman born uh -huh. of God, that he is coming from, from God, the father. He was the word. He was the logos. And then when he take the flesh, that is what meant by born of God, but is always there. Okay. I don't want to make it difficult for you, but it's very simple. When I say you, you are always trying to to uh, to measure it as okay, there's this may be Mary when she gave birth to Jesus, and this is the time Jesus was exists, correct? Uh, can you repeat that? Maybe you are thinking, well, Jesus, he is born of God. That's mean when he was born no, of Mary. No. no, I don't think so. So, I'm so, talking so, about so how, 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 how born, born for you? How you understand the word me. born? How you understand the word born then? I mean, I was asking you. When, I know, but like, I'm trying Jesus, to help you. I'm trying to help you. So yeah, how you like, understand so the word born Jesus, when, when we say... Because I'm, I'm going by, like, when, when somebody has a son, yeah. usually, you know, normally we mean by son as somebody gave birth to that, you know? No, we, you, know, you see, when, when you talk about giving birth... Yeah. Uh, uh, a woman, she gave birth. Mary, she gave birth to Jesus, correct? Uh, yeah, but or you can like for example say amoeba, you know, I mean it doesn't give birth, but it kind of like No, 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 no problem. No problem. No problem. You see when we say born This isn't yeah. about birth and delivery. No, it's 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 about God. He manifests himself it, uh, It's a manifestation like can God Be one Can God be three? Can God be four? Can God be ten? Can God be 100? If we say a God, if we say God and we believe in God, then God, he can do whatever he wish and he can be as he wish. So if God, he have no mind, he have no logos, he have no existence. Do you think God is a thinker God or God is just a concrete? Do he think, do you have a, do you have a mind? Is he exist just as a word mean God or he exist as a, 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 as a, as a very super intelligent uh, person? Yeah, like I, I, we can comprehend, so I can't really say. Why cannot? Because I, I mean, we don't understand our own selves first, like why. No, no, or how you we... see, we don't want to go there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying my best to make it simple for you. You see, if you read with me in the in the in the Bible here, it says Jesus. He said, Yeshua said to them, "I, if I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorify me." Here, let us stop here. Why it, God, if 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 Jesus is just a man, why God the Father will glorify Jesus? Who is Jesus? Doesn't make sense unless he is God, and he is the Son. So when he say, "If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing," because anyone glorify himself, it is my Father who glorify me. He of whom you say, he is you our God. So Jesus saying to them clearly, I am the son of God. And then he says, and do you know, do not know him, but I know him. And if I had said, I do not know him, I myself would be uh, been a liar like you. But you do know him and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, desired to see my day. And he saw it and he rejoiced. Now, Jesus going back in time, you know, to the time of Abraham. Abraham is a very famous figure for the Jews and he is their grand grand grandfather the Jews they said to him you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham so Jesus now he claimed that he seen Abraham what else Yeshua said to them timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham I am the living God so yeah I mean I read all that yes all right Th that is not uh, my problem like I, I see that even before the earth was made, right? Anything was made, Jesus existed with God. So what's the difference between God and and Jesus? No, like, you see, the, the Bible difference? says that everything created by him and for him. So we as a Christian, we believe that Jesus is the creator of the world himself. And that's why he have the judgment over the flesh, because he created the flesh. In the same time, 
when we we as a Christian we speak about Jesus the Son, still at the end of the day he is the Son and Jesus always that he receive all his authority from the Father. That not because like he inherit no because simply God the Father have a job, God the Son have a job, God the Holy Spirit have a job, and every one of them he do his job. It is a three, like you know in English it's not really accurate word when they say, when they say uh, person. In, in Arabic, I don't know if you speak Arabic, it's, it's, it's called Uknum. Uknum. Like if you have a three, uh, like I have a building of three corners, and uh, those, this, this building with three corners, they complete the, the job, the mission, the purpose. So God is one, but God as the one, he is invisible. God is the one, is a person who is visible. And God is the one, is he is as a spirit. So when we say God, the Messiah, is born of the Father, it's about the visible image of the invisible God and his mission in this earth. And that's why he said, my father sent me. I did not come by myself. And when we say he is born, it's, it's not about birth. It's not about a minute, a minute of existence. Uh, all the Christian agree that he exists before time and time actually created by him because if there's no matter, there's no time. So before time, Jesus exists, and time doesn't count for him. He's out of time. And when he speaks about himself as the son, he is speaking about his authority. And at the same time, you need to focus on something very important. I can say, as Jesus said now, I can say all those things. You can say it, correct? I yeah. mean, talk is cheap, correct? But Jesus, he have a power nobody have. He is the one who raised people from death. He yeah, is the he one. He resurrected who, too. He, he resurrected people from death. He is... Uh, uh, he make the blind see. He walk in the water. He control nature. He, you know, I mean, the, even even the Bible says that if we want to count how many miracles Jesus did, nobody can count. There's no books. There's no books in John chapter twenty one verse number twenty five says, and there and there are also many other things which Jesus did, that which if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that. Even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. I mean, so Jesus is not just a figure saying, here we go, Muhammad, he's saying the same. Muslims, they say Allah created the world. The talk is cheap. But Jesus as a person, he was able to prove who is he. The Lord, he said, from, your, from their fruits you shall know them. And this for everybody, including him. So the fruit of Jesus, a proof of Jesus, not because his name is Yeshua, and not because he said, I am the son of God, but because he have the authority of God. When you create, you are a creator. When I ask you, who is God? You said the creator, correct? Yeah. Okay, when Jesus create, he's a creator. He's God. So all what we all what we Christians do when they explain Jesus as the son, they are telling you that Jesus, because he come to us in the flesh as a man, Jesus always have to explain himself because people don't understand how you are a man, yet you are you are God. But Jesus, he did so, not just say the statement. Jesus, he did what God do. So, so you're saying like Jesus and God, I mean the Father are one figure before. My friend, Jesus, he said in one statement, he said, "Me and the Father." One of his disciples he asked him, "Why you don't show us the Father?" And that's it. Jesus said to him, "I am with you all this time, and yet you do not know me." The one who saw me, he saw the Father. I am in the Father, and the Father in me. So, Jesus, he confirmed the unity, but one as a not num as a num not a number. The word ikhad is not a number. You know, you are confused. And actually, if you if you speak about God as one, this is very silly because if God is one, that means there's two, and there's three, and there's four. If it's a number, because we cannot count what it cannot be count. Yeah, like okay, I I get your point. You're saying that Jesus and and the Father are one entity, like God is one entity. Unity. But the the role, yeah, the the role of Jesus as a son is the human form, right? But my thing is why not only a human form. Right? Form. Jesus huh? have a job. Jesus have a job. Yeah. The Father have a job. The Holy Spirit have a job. So when Jesus he said, when I leave, I will leave with you the Comforter. I will send you the Comforter. That is the time for the Holy Spirit to be with us. So the Holy Spirit now has, has a job to be with us as a Christians, as a believers, when the Messiah is far away from us. He will not leave us alone. He will leave with us the Comforter. So 
because like you know it's, it's like uh, uh, saying uh, if I ask you right now you as a, a person do you have a soul can you repeat that do you have a soul 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 yeah yes okay do you have I a body so. <laughs> do, you, do you have a body yeah okay but body is something and soul is something else and they have different nature correct I believe so yeah all right but if you if one of them is missing you're you're gone yeah so how come we don't say you are two but we say you are one yeah but you are two in, in, in reality in reality you are two you are not when, when even when the Muslim they believe and you used to be a Muslim that when they say that God he created Adam as a in the in the shape of a mud and he left him for 40 years Adam yet is not exist correct it's just uh, just a mud yeah but when he gave him the spirit the spirit and the shape of the mud became a flesh correct yeah so here we have a unity but they are not one because a spirit is a spirit soul is a soul and body is a body but yet when you ask you who are you you say to me I am Muhammad I am Ahmad I am etc I don't know if you try to change your name after your Islam but 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 still you don't consider yourself two. but in reality you are you are you are not only not one you are two and do, uh, two have two different nature one is invisible and one is visible and then the one which is a flesh and the one which is a spirit will not be complete to make you the creature we are talking about unless you have a mind and you have a brain do we agree okay uh yes yeah, agree okay well uh, uh, no, no, yeah i get your point no, no focus on it. Do. let me finish this one if you don't have the brain do you do your body function the soul the, 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 do the soul work and the body function if you don't have the brain i don't believe so okay the brain is the one in control of everything but without yes. soul and without the flesh the brain is not even exist so yeah. you will notice now what you have a three we have the mind we have the soul we have the flesh and yet we have you as a one person so three different identity let us say and they are totally different in the job one have full control of how the object work and move and how in you know, feeling and even emotion even anger even happiness and then you have a body the body is just a flesh so you can stand on it you can walk with it and you can survive with it and you have a soul which is giving you life which means both of them the brain and the body will not be functioning without the soul as you see if one of them is missing you are missing too but you never say to me that you are three you say you are one okay i get the uh, okay i got it but uh, can i ask you go ahead you know, like same question like a in the same sense right so why was jesus saying that why have you forsaken me he was quoting the old testament there's a prophet prophecies about jesus in the old testament and he was quoting the prophecies that they will you know they will put him in the cross they will torture him etc so this is a jesus this is why he said at the end it's complete so the prophecy about me is complete but all of us we know that nobody forsake jesus how he felt. Jesus a day before he told his disciple that you will betray me you will deny me you will sell me and when uh, the, like you hear the sound of this animal you before he said that all of you you will do that and this is exactly what happened he knew what's going to happen he knew he was going to be uh, crucified and so why he would be he, he was quoting and all the prophecy about so him. can you can you show it to me what he was quoting oh, oh. I, I on the computer all right let me show it on the screen here we go you can see my screen i see john 21 25. all right let me put for you <clears throat> Uh, this is the verses. I will open the actually the verses from all of them, not only verse number one. Let me do that. This is the book of Psalm. Yeah, I saw, still I just see John twenty one twenty. Yeah, give me a second. I'm opening the. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> all right, that's you. Yeah, here, here we go. All right. So here you see. I still. 
exactly as Jesus said. I still said. see John 21, 25. Yeah. So here you see, this is an English translation. Rabbi, Rabbi. CP, I don't see. You don't, don't see, don't see it see now? The, I see John 21, 25. Okay. Refresh your page, maybe. You too. Okay. Let me, going I, mean, to I do to see you. screen moving. Okay. Now I see it. All right. So you see, it's exactly word by word as Jesus said. And this was prophecy about Jesus. So what does it mean? Like, why have you forsaken me? Why does, why that's the prophecy? I mean, no, the the cry here is about unjust. When 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 uh, I have no guilt, I did nothing, you know. And he remind them. He is reminding the Jews. He is not really speaking to the Father. He is reminding the Jews of what it says about their unjust. They are being being unfair. They are being uh, not listening. Because here the story resemble how prophets of God, they cry and the nation never listen. The whole Old Testament, there is tons of stories. So you need to go and read the book of Psalm and you find out how and why the, this is mentioned. When like, like when I make a speech now, I say, oh, those Christians, you know, why God you forsake me? Because I'm this, like I'm disappointed of them. But God okay. did not oh, forsake me. I got me. it. So yeah. he was quoting the. He, okay. wa he was um, quoting that, exactly. He was quoting yeah. the prophecy, and he is reminding the Jews of who they are, uh -huh. you know, and what they do, and how they right, listen and it. how they don't listen, you know. So yeah. uh, uh, I can say that sometimes me myself and many people they witness here. I get upset from the Christian. I shout at them. You don't help me. I do, etc., etc. God, why you do that to me? But I, I'm not as you say really. I'm, I'm just crying for the and you know like there's i don't deserve this i deserve better i deserve you know so prophets of god in the old testament they cry to god not because they don't believe in god not because they believe god forsake them but because believe you know they are like uh, you know like in in, in language sometimes we uh, we use certain words in order to uh, uh, to make the people ashamed of themselves like when your father he says to you what i did to my god before you because you did something bad but do he really mean that god you know he is just showing you that you are being a shameful person i don't deserve this so when jesus he quote everything jesus he say he he say it for a reason even when he said it's completed completed what if he is he, if he's just been forsaken how it's completed so the complete is that my mission to the cross is complete Okay. And this is why he is quoting for them this, right. this chapter. Uh, I, I have another question. So he was praying, Jesus was praying. So who he was praying to? If he My friend, you're himself. repeating the same question. Jesus speak to the Father. The prayer is a holy words, holy speech. Yeah, but you, you established that God is like Father and God are the same entity, right? No, See, not a different person. I just told you a different person. So God the Son is speaking to the Father as a prayer. That's why I say to you, that my father he glorify me and I glorify my father. So the speech between a holy person and a holy person is a prayer. Prayer is something holy. is is a holy word you say. So when I make supplication to God, the reason it's called a prayer because I'm making a supplication of a holy words for a holy person. So the in the case of Jesus, he is holy. The Father is holy. So the speech between them is a prayer. And actually, the word pray. Like when you say, like, and there's many examples in the Old Testament and the New Testament about I pray, like I pray you are healthy, but doesn't mean I'm praying now, you know, to God that you are, you know, healthy. Uh, you know, I'm saying, uh, like, uh, I, I, I hope, I wish you are fine. But in the case of Jesus, when he speaks to the Father, all the time he speaks to the Father, it's a prayer. Why? Because it's a holy conversation between the Holy Son and the Holy Father. I see. It's like, you know, you have a, uh, there is two president and they have a hotline between them is, is it really yeah, is it really two, is it right? really is it really hot no i'm saying like there are two no, no listen to me there's yeah. the, between president like now putin and trump they have a hotline between them is it really the word hot present no no but we call it hot why for because it's a it's between two uh, like uh, high class leaders supposedly uh, two giants and this is for serious matter but now we are talking about God himself the God the Father and God the Son 
so it's not a hot line it's a prayer for the son is holy the father is holy the conversation between two is holy okay yeah uh, if you see in the comment there this guy uh little john Let's see he said my friend stop playing games jesus is number two in your trinity he's not the father and father is not the son nor the spirit and vice versa <laughs> so what does that mean i mean this is this guy is being funny because we are not saying he is number one we are we are not saying number one number two number three we are saying god the son god the father god the holy spirit he's an idiot god the father god the son god the holy spirit there's no number two there's no number one there's no number three three person one god he's an idiot i think he's trying to say like how god jesus said that uh, uh without father's will you know some i, I let my me friend there's nothing it's called without father there's nothing called is you know when we say uh, we don't want to repeat ourselves uh when when if we go to john chapter one verse number one it says in the beginning it was the word but who is the word we are talking about jesus right? jesus the beginning of everything is to start with jesus but the word which is jesus is the logos the logos of who logos of the father so jesus existence as a logos and then when he become a flesh he have a flesh of a human being but jesus from the beginning is the beginning is the beginning of everything that's why the bible says by him and for him everything is created so when we speak about the trinity it's not about god the father is number one and jesus is number two and the holy spirit is number three those numbers actually are not exist even when we say the word trinity is just to summarize what we believe but in reality god the father god the, uh, the, the son god the holy spirit is god it's not three gods it is one god and each person of them have a duty to do as we explain to you about your spirit your your flesh and your mind uh -huh. give me one moment i saw a verse in bible all right I'm trying to search just uh it's gonna be my last question but yeah like i said uh last time i talked I was uh, I was Muslim, but I kind of understood that that's not the because they got a lot of problems with with Quran, right? So yeah, that's why I'm trying to read. Bible. No, no, I you know I don't blame you. I mean those questions are normal, and uh, you know and some like even some Christians they don't know how to explain because they just have faith but they don't really uh, go into details. But the the Trinity actually I believe is very simple, for you know. Uh, uh, always a human being he need to see god like don't the atheists they say to us where's god if he exists why don't god so, show show himself if he exists so in christianity god himself he come to us as an image of a man and that's why jesus says before abraham i am and he saw me and he, i came to abraham i talked to abraham i was with abraham so and he rejoiced for my day so uh, uh, what what uh, uh, always a human being he wanted to see god you know, there's many, they have false religion, they have false gods, and their God is imaginary. In Christianity, God, he made, made it to be true, to come to you in the flesh, you can see him. And you might say, why he came as a human? For a very simple reason. Uh, uh, the Bible explained that God is so, you know, gl the glory of God, human being cannot handle. Like it's the same, I don't want to compare God to the sun. The sun is nothing compared to God, but let's just say, I want to get you close to the sun. If you look at the sun with your naked eye, you go blind. You cannot even challenge the sun for a few seconds, right? And this is just a sun, one of the creation of God. So what about God? So God is a glory preventing you from being able to see and live. So God, the Bible says, so God humbled himself. So he come to us in the flesh of a man. Uh, can you, can you, sorry, I was uh, reading. Uh, at the same time the last verse you said can you show it to me yeah my friend don't don't uh, don't look at the chat don't look at the chat oh no just, no just i was talk. i was looking at the words that i wanted to ask you about yeah it's uh, if it go as an example if we go to uh philippines uh yeah. two five seven i think let me let me be sure give me a second please 
No, uh, actually, my question was from Matthew twenty four thirty six. Yeah. Yeah, it says no one knows about that day or hour, not yeah. even the Son, but the Father only. Yeah, that's so, very simple. I I just told you that Jesus he mentioned. I just mentioned to you that the Father have a job, the Son have a job, the Holy Spirit has a, has a job. So it is the job of the Father to decide the day of judgment. The job of the Son is to be the judge. Yeah, I'm just, I'll have to read more to understand. Uh, no problem. Like I said, I, I, like you know. I, said, I mean, I, I kind of understand, but at the same time, these things like, you know, if God and Jesus are same entity, then no, no, you see, I talk about why entity. doesn't he know about the hour? Yeah, you know, no, why, no, this is not about no, this is not about the hour. Actually, no, if you read the chapter, read to the end, you will see Jesus in you. He said, When this happened, 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 then the son of the man will come. So he knew the future, he knew what is coming. So how Jesus do not know what Jesus is saying okay. that it is for the father, not for the son, not even for the son, for it is for the father. You see, even the Jews, they have a tradition. Even if you are getting married, it's not the son who goes and tells the neighbors, I'm getting married. It's, an, it's, it's, it's a shameful thing to do. It is the father who will mention that my son is getting married in the day of etc. And you are more welcome to attend the wedding. So the father will announce, for this is the duty of the father. And he himself, as a son, he received his authority from the father. So who's going to announce the day of judgment, such an important day? It is the father. But who is the one who knows when those things will happen it is jesus already if you read the whole chapter you see when this happened when this happened when this happened and then he continue at the end and he says when this generation which means this generation who witnessed all those last thing happening when that happened then the son of the man would come with the glory of his uh, uh, over the cloud with the glory of his angels so jesus will be the judge in the day of judgment and he knew everything will happen from now until the day of judgment but the one who will announce the day of judgment is the Father. Same time, in Christianity, we do not believe in destiny for day of judgment. How is that? We believe that God the Father, you know, and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, which is one God, gave us the chance to extend the date, which means I can be decent person, we can be a decent city, and judgment day will not come. The more we corrupt ourselves, the more and the faster the judgment day is coming. So God the Father is not announcing because simply he gave us a free will. Go live. You corrupt yourself. You fix yourself. You repent. Yeah, it's I'm, up to you. I'm reading. So you said if I continue to read Matthew 36, where it says, uh, no one knows, not even the, the uh, nor the son, but only the father. If you read, if I continue to read, you say that uh, gives. Let me see. <clears throat> this will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. Exactly. So Jesus is telling you about the signs of the day of judgment when he will come. When those things so will happen. So why did he say that no one knows nor the Son? My friend, because the Father is going to be announced. Like, what do you say? When the Bible says knows, is not about uh, uh, information, because he have all the information, as you see. What he is saying to you, that the announcement of the day of judgment is going to be by the Father. And usually, because we are reading translation, you know, we, we you know, translation sometimes can be confusing. So the announcer of the day of judgment is going to be the Father, not even the Son. But as you see, the Messiah is telling them step by step what will happen. How they will live, who is going to, what will happen exactly, by you know, by by the most like uh, clear details. So how he do not know the future, and yet he is saying about the future because the judgment day is a future, correct? Yeah, yeah, but but it says no one knows. That's what I'm asking. No one knows the. So no the, one knows. No, 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 nor no one. Sun. No one knows the hour for this is for the father to announce. Not for so me. Why not even like if if Jesus is God Himself, right? Because, why, for, how would for, he not for, know? This is not about for if God is Jesus is God. For as I said, the one who have the, what what Jesus said, every I have everything I have 
is given to me from the father correct yes okay uh -huh. it's not given to him from the father of the hour as simple as that he is the son he is not the father the son have a job and he said everything I have not a single thing is not coming to me from the father so when he say he have the judgment over the flesh it's an authority given to him from the father when he tell you about what will happen in the future is what is given to him from the father when he tell you what anything he do everything he have is from the father for he is born of the father so it's very normal that everything as long as everything Jesus have is from the father that the judgment day is going to be from the father for everything I have if I say to you everything in my truck is from my father given to me and then you ask me how come there is something he did not give it to you he gave me as because I have a job I have a duty and th there is a wisdom here that nobody should know the day of judgment of mankind if Jesus said to them oh it's going to be tomorrow it's going to be in the year etc he just oh. told them what they should not know so it is for the father there's a reason that the father only is the one who will announce the day of judgment but Jesus he told them the sign and the sign is to warn them not to tell them about date so Jesus is saying to, the, to them, the more you corrupt yourself, the faster the judgment will come to you. The same as the story what happened to, 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 uh, uh, to the people of, uh, of Lut. Uh, 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 you know, it's mentioned even in the Quran, which is a story from the Bible. So if there is only, he said, God, if there is like, what, 70 people are righteous, they will destroy the city. He said, no. What about if there is like 10? Ten, ten? He said, no, even if there's 10, he will not destroy the city yet. So righteousness, when righteousness die, then judgment day will come because we believe in free will. Yeah, like if you read the comment, this this person. Don't look at the comment, my friend. You are talking to me. Why are you <laughs> are looking at the comment? F-H-O-S-S-A. -S -S I, I can't really read the name. Yeah, this guy, is a, this guy is an idiot. It's a Christian prince. I can understand that son and the father have their own respected roles. But at the same time, the son should know as much as you, you don't father. you don't tell you know you don't tell what he should know what he should not and and nobody say that you do not know the what what the verse is saying you know this you are reading the translation uh that only the father the authority of the day of judgment is to belong to the father it doesn't belong to me what belong to me is the authority over the flesh i am the judge he is the one who will announce the day so let us say we have a court and the court there is a judge he will judge the, the 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 criminals and the and the one who will announce the day of the court is the father so the judge is the most important person in your case because he is the one who will decide who will take me to hell or go to hell or go to heaven however the father because everything belonged to him he is he will have he have the honor let us say of announcing because everything belonged to him as simple as that yeah okay well you know like i said you know, I, have to hold on. I, want, I want to i want to go with you something i mean if we try to focus to find something to make jesus not god then we should forget that jesus raised people from death forget that jesus made the blind see jesus said i am the son of god jesus saying nobody knows saw the father except me nobody me and the father is one we have to forget everything so either we accept what Jesus say in full and we understand yeah, it or we question it, one thing only we question only one thing sense, and that right? will delete everything Jesus he did yeah but everything should make sense at the same time no nothing like you, I you say, see you're talking about making sense uh I like it when a human being he says makes sense I just you know when you call me I ask you uh, I, and you said how three can be one right but you, you forgot that you are a person who have a sense and your sense is your brain and you have a soul and you have a body, which means you are three and one in the same time. But yet your sense could not lead you to understand that you are three and one in the same time. What was your no, sense? I, 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 like I said, I understand. No, no, no. I'm asking you, have you thought about it this way? As I told you, be honest with me, that you have a soul, you have a brain, you have a flesh, three and one in the same time. Have you ever thought about it before? Uh, no, you know, okay. I say I'm it, asking you now, where, is, where was your yeah. sense? Where was your sense five minutes ago before I mentioned that to you? How come you never understood and you are a growing man all your life that you have a soul, you have a flesh, you have a mind, 
and you have a sense but yet your sense did not lead you to something makes sense that you should be not asking how you can be three and one in the same time when you are three and one in the same time i mean i thought about this before but i didn't really like, no you just said no connect no i'm talking about in christian sense i didn't no I, no you see let us be honest I, I want you to be honest with me have you ever really thought about you as mind and soul and flesh three and one at the same time be honest with me i've i've thought about me having soul and my mind like but, i i kind of like question i don't know but have you ever mentioned the, the three because have you ever yeah. have, have you ever in your thought me like come to that conclusion that you are three and one at the same time not three in one, two right, in see? one. Yeah. Okay, so now you, you are you, you still your sense is not working then because you are three and one at the same time. Because if you don't have the mind, the rest will not function. You you, you know you, you have to have a brain in order to be in control. Like when you feel hungry, who is the one who make you feel hungry so you can go eat? It's your brain. Yeah, yeah. When you sleep, see, uh, how how you, how your body how your this, body right? clock work. Your body clock work because you have a brain controlling. Now you have to sleep. You are tired. It make you yawn, start yawning. So now your brain is telling you, you are tired. You have to sleep. You know, and then your brain he start giving you information that you need to eat or you need to drink now. But this is that's mean. This is the the essence of life. If you don't if you don't have the brain, you don't have life. You are dying. So your soul will die. Your flesh will die. Your soul will, will leave you, and your your flesh will die, and your brain itself will will end dead too. Three and one at the same time. So when we question how God can be three and be one in the same time, and you ask me now, like, how I am a flesh, I am a, a spirit, and I am Christian a brain. Prince, Christian let, let Prince. me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, I, I'm listen. going. I'm going with your logic. So yeah. do your body, do your body in control of the brain, or the brain in control of your body? My brain is control of my body. Okay. How come your body, which is your body, do not know? That you are hungry, but your brain is the one who knows. I mean, because the brain is like the central command system. Okay, but right? we now just to solve the problem. So you are saying to me that I am one, yet my body do not know, but my brain know. So how you can be one, yet your body do not know what the brain know? That's it, uh, because my main system is still brain. Like if I lose exactly, my body, so now you just say it because the brain do what the brain do, the flesh do what the flesh do, and the soul do what the soul do. This is what we are trying to say to you from the beginning. Yes, so, but but my brain is my main system. Like what I mean to say is, if my brain is damaged even a little bit, you know, my body will not be. Uh, will be effective sorry but if my body is damaged it's not the other way around so doesn't matter if one of them is missing or if you are dead there's nothing it's called damage little damage is either, either is damaged or not so like if a human being they, they say to you he have a his, his brain is dead what they do what they do they, they put Wait, him who? they put him in the serum they they, they feed him through the the the, uh, 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 the liquid right yeah okay why because if they take it he's dead Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. but so the brain die. All of you are dead. Your soul is leaving you. Your body is dead. So the brain die. What do you say? My flesh. That's a fact. The, the flesh is going to die only if the brain make you die. But CP, the problem see, here is even that even a, the heart attack, even the heart attack is coming is an order coming from the brain. The brain, so, the brain get ring information when the brain get ring, ring information about something happening. So the brain give extra orders for the heart to do and that cause I, heart I get see i get your analogy but let me tell you this the problem is that you're you're comparing my body as i am not limited. i'm not comparing i'm just trying i never compare i'm just trying okay. no. you're giving an example of the body i'm not even body. giving you i'm not even giving you an example i'm just showing you how yeah. your logic is working against you because you are wondering how a three can be one and how uh, one part CB, do not know the other. See, listen, listen. No. I did not say how can they be one or how I said we are past that. You you explained it to me and I understood. What I'm asking is, okay, I understand they're one, they're they're God and uh, they have their own duty. But if but why like I'm talking about the worst. Why did why is it worded like uh, you know I'm reading it about uh, um. The, but about the dead day or hour, no one knows 
not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun. Well, I'm saying why it is worded. The sun, so, when, okay, did you notice the word the sun? What does the sun mean? Jesus talking about himself, No, right? not only the sun means Jesus. It means the sun, you know, with Jesus, when he is calling himself the sun, he is speaking of son, son of what? Son of man. How many times Jesus says the son of man? Not only the son of the father, he is a son of man. So the son of man, as long as he is in the flesh, which is given to him, the flesh as a man, he is not going to be the one to tell you. But Jesus, when he come in the, with the cloud, in the, in the, uh, over the cloud with his angels, they will be the person who is not the son of man no more. He is coming back as a son of God. So not for the son, that son, the one in the flesh, is not the one to tell you. But when Jesus, the Messiah, me, when I come back to you, I will come to you as a son of God with the nature of the son of God. And then you will see what I will do. I will be the judge. And he will say, hey, my angels, bring those who did not believe in me and slay them. This is what Jesus said. Bring them here and slay them. That what Jesus said. Why? Because now he is coming in the authority of a judge. When he, when he spoke those verses, he is speaking in the authority of the son of man who is coming to give mercy, to save them, to rescue them. But when he Make comes second uh, time, he will come as a judge, not as a son of man. He will come as a son of God with the with the authority of judgment. A Christian prince, can you, if you don't mind, can you put that verse on the screen if it's possible? Which one? Just so that we we know we're on the same page. Just I know, and my friend, I do not need to put the screen. And I will put it on the screen, no problem. But I'm, no, for the because somebody in the comment was asking for it too. What what verse so you want? What verse? Um, it's the 36 Matthew. What Matthew 36? Uh, Matthew 24, 36. 24. Yeah, yes. Okay, not 36. Oh, okay. There's, no, there's no 36. Yeah. Okay. And uh, 36 line. What? Yeah, what do you want to read? It's not on the screen, but uh, yeah. Okay. What do you want? Uh, no, thirty-six. Oh, your your uh, I see. Like, how do you say Psalm? Psalm? He Psalms. Okay, it's going to move. Uh, no problem. Okay. okay. Hmm. Yeah. So thirty six. Thirty six. Do you see it now? Uh, I see thirty three, thirty four. Okay. You don't see it yet. Yes, okay. So, but of the day, no man, no, not the angels, but my father only. Yeah. So, the, Jesus knows or not? That's my question. Is My friend, you see, it says here, the son of man, that's being the man in the flesh, is not the one to know, because it's going to be the same as the day of Noah, it's going to be a surprise. So, it's not for you to know, it's not for the son of man to know now, but when the son of God, he come back, he will come as a judge. He is the one to be the judge, judging everybody. So the Son of God is the one who will come and start the day of judgment. The Father, He knows, but the Son of God, who is going to receive, or He, he received already the authority to be the, the judge on the judgment day, He will come to do the judgment. So all what Jesus says, for you is not to know, for me, as long I am in the Son of Man in the flesh, is not to know. Because simply is going to be a surprise for you, the same as the story of Noah. How the story of Noah is, he warned them, there's a flood that's coming. There's a flood that's coming. But he did not tell, tell them what day. He did not tell them what hour. The flood is coming. Nobody listen. The flood uh -huh. is coming. Listen to me. Nobody is listening. So the whole story is the following. That Jesus, he warned them. The prophet before sent by Jesus, they warned them. People don't listen. 
So it's not for anyone to know, for it's going to be surprised. So the hypocrite will not repent an hour before the day of judgment. Is going to be surprised. So the Lord will come to like, the, like the same as a thief in the middle of the night, and nobody will be aware that he is coming. This is the whole purpose of this story, that nobody shall know, for there is a wisdom of that. If we tell you, if, the, if we announce to you when the day is going to be, all the hypocrites, all the liars, they will repent a day before the day of judgment, and suddenly they are believers. So he will come the same as the flood of Noah. Surprise when you are not aware, when you think you are okay. But he told them, he told them what will happen. He said, the heaven and the earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And what is his words? Is everything he said and he promised that he is coming back. But that day and the hour knows no man, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. And I mentioned to you that because this is the duty of the father to announce it. The son, he will do it. If you don't think this is make sense, it's up to you. But this is how... So, J Jesus knows it, but he's saying... Jesus, he, you know, Jesus, he gave the man, the human, me and you, what yeah. you need to know. Like all the verses before, it says, when this happened, when this happened, when this happened, then I will come. So, if Jesus do not know the future, because the point is about knowing the future, correct? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But he, in the front of you, the same chapter saying... So, like the one I have open, it says, nor the sun. So, the one I open is it's not showing me the correct translation then. In my, my friend, it, 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 it is translation. You see, to be honest with you, in order to get the, 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 the perfect uh, one, I need to read in the original uh, uh, script. But it doesn't yeah, matter. Uh, it, even if it is the man, even or the son, it doesn't make any difference at the end of the day. You know, translation is translation. But however, what it's meant here, that is not for anyone to know. For this is the purpose of not knowing that you should be okay, judged. You, yeah, I'm trying not to read comment, but some people are really, really like mean. My friend, don't look at the comment and let me disable the comment. Here yeah, if they're really, if they're true Christians, they're they're doing such a poor job. Those are not. Know? Don't don't look at the comment, and I will disable the comment. I agree with you. There's some people are idiot. Here we go. Yeah, like I mean, I, I'm reading. I'm those, reading Bible. Those are I'm Muslims. Maybe that, maybe they are Muslims trying to divert you. Yeah, Jesus yeah. even said that whatever you say from your mouth, it comes from the soul. So they, if they're saying bad, like if they're uh, being don't, abusive, my friend, don't tell me what people say. I'm talking to you. Respect yeah, me. Yeah, what I'm just saying. The same like, as I respect pretty... you. I'm not looking at the chat. Why? Because I'm talking to you. So let's focus yeah, together. It's disrespectful, you know. No, it no. It, 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 those are we don't know who's talking there. It's a stupid chat. Yeah. You do not okay. know them, I do not know them, and nobody knows who is talking. Maybe they are Muslims. This person, Evelyn Adams. I don't care. Who care? Focus with me. So the story is that Jesus, he knew the future. If you are seeking who knows the future, he knew the future. He knew until the day of judgment. And the same in the same chapter. So if we are trying to prove that Jesus is not God because he did not know the day of the, the hour, well, he knew the future. This is only God can know. No one can know. We are talking about the same time, the same, the day of judgment. For there's so two, there's two things in Christianity. The pre, there's no preset day for the day of judgment. Why? Because when you do those things, those things will happen. It's like saying when you spend too much money until there's no no money in your bank, then you are bankrupt. So the day of bankruptcy is in your hand. It's you who control it. You spend more, you have less. So you keep having less, you have less, you have less until you have nothing. So it's not God who decides for you when you are going to be bankrupt. It is you who decide when you will be bankrupt. So Christianity is not a preset date for anything. And the reason Jesus is saying only the Father, there's a wisdom of that. If Jesus, they ask him, why you don't tell us, you know, he, uh, he, he, he will not lie. He will not say, oh, it's, uh, okay, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, um, a million years from now, you know, so he can deceive them like Allah. He said to them the truth. It is only for the Father. And why? For there is the same reason. Same as Noah. He, you know, God, he told Noah. He told him about the flood. Noah told the people. People don't listen. The flood came. But nobody knows when the flood is going to come. 
Nobody knows which day. Nobody knows what, what hour. So the flood took them in surprise, but the one who have a ship is the one who was saved. And this is why Jesus, he have, we have a, a, a verses in the Bible speaking about the parable of the virgins. In Christianity, we don't believe in virgins, but those virgins are the one who they are ready to meet the Lord. So there's women are waiting with their candles, and one, she have a candle, but she don't have oil. How you can light your candle in the middle of the night so the Lord will see you? So what Jesus is saying to you, that exactly how those people are, there's many of you will be the same. You are just a questioning, but you don't want to see. You can question, but how come we don't question how Jesus can make the blind see, how Jesus can make the dead alive, how Jesus can create not from nothing everything. So if this is what will make Jesus not God, then everything else Jesus have is what? Jesus simply, this is why Christianity, it is make sense because we, if if Jesus, if, if we Christianity believe that the Father is the same person as the Son, then Jesus, what he said doesn't make sense. Because isn't it one person? No. Trinity doesn't say it's one person. It says the Father is the Father, the Son is the Son. So the Son he do, and he was given to do a job as a Son. That's why he was called the Son. The Father is the one who all authority have Jesus have belong to him and what is the most amazing thing belong to the father more than the day of judgment so Jesus saying my father it's like saying I am the crown prince but guess what still the father is the one who will mention it the father then he will send me to be the judge in the day of judgment he gave me the, 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 the authority over the flesh. So when Jesus keeps saying, everything I have, everything I have, everything I have, why would not understand that everything you have is from the Father? So why and how come the judgment day will not come from the Father too? And why he will not be as a son of man, knowing the day, because simply the Father will announce it, and not, it's not time to announce it. Why? Because people, they have to commit the sin we mentioned, and at the same time, we don't want people to know. We don't want the son, the, 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 the human being to know. We don't even want the angels to know. For this is a decision in the hand of the Father only. All right. That makes sense. Uh, like I said, I think my uh, problem was that my the a translation I was reading um, said something else. So yeah, I, I understand. I understand. But you see, you need, you need to focus on something very important. We have to connect everything together. I can say now the same as Jesus said. I can say I have my. He's my. Actually, we're Christian. We pray. We call God the Father, correct? But doesn't yeah. mean, and I do not know the day of judgment. But doesn't mean I'm equal to Jesus. <laughs> you know that's that's not yeah. the case. But Jesus, He told us in the same chapter when those things happen, this and this and this and this and this. And then He says only the Father. That means is an announcement that Jesus. You know, Jesus said, "I glorify the my Father glorify me." And I glorify my father. So he said, respect to the father, he will, he is the one who will announce it. It's a it's a disrespect that the son, he will take the authority of the father and abuse it because simply it's against his justice. For God the Father, he have a plan. And what is the plan? The day of judgment is going to happen when nobody is aware. So the hypocrite will not repent the day before. If a person, he repent from his heart a day before, before the day of judgment, he is saved. But he do not know the day of judgment. It happened that he repent and the day of judgment came. So the God, you know, our God is intelligent, superior, and there is a wisdom and there is a reasoning for everything. I'm not going to announce the day of my collection when the collection is about judgment of those who they are called sinners. I can announce the day of judgment or collection if it's a tax so people can be ready because all what I care for is material. But when it's come to spiritual, there's hypocrite, there's liars, there's deceivers. They okay, should not it. know. Uh, I get uh, the, the point. So uh, we can we move to next question Go if ahead. you don't mind? All right. Yeah. So if you read John 14, 28. Hmm. Right. Yeah, it says that uh, my father is greater than me. Exactly, because the father, he, he have what? He have the, uh, the, the flesh of the man. 
So the, the Bible says, for God uh, uh, humble himself, he came in the image of a, of a human being. He humbled himself. So my father is greater than me because he is not coming in a humble way. I am coming in a very humble way. I'm coming as a human being. So my father is greater than me. In the same time, he called him the father. He, obviously, the father is always a greater. Why? Because he's a son. Greater in what? Not greater in the gold and silver. Yeah, greater in what? Yeah, greater as a father, you know, the value, the respect. The father, everything I have is belong to my father. So the humble me is the humble image of God. So my father is a greater than me. You did not see the glory of my father. You have no idea. So is it, it's, is it, isn't it very normal to say that I'm coming to you as a human in the flesh of a human being, walking in my feet, and my father okay, is greater it. than me? It makes sense. Okay. All right. And um, yeah, I'm watching this guy called um, Nabil Qureshi. Yeah. Yeah, and he actually, I know he passed away. Yeah. But I like his videos. So, yeah, that's where I'm also, I'm reading Bible and also watching that. And, you know, that's why I called you. So I may call you later if I have any No problem. Questions. I want you to, you see, you open, you asked me to read John, right? John 14. But you notice in John 14, it says that no one come to the Father except by me. All right? No uh, one come to the Father yeah. except by me. So what is the purpose is to, to go to the Father. You see how important the Father is? Yeah. Okay. So all our work is what? Is to go to the Father. So Jesus, he is doing the, his duty as a son to save you, to take you where? He says in the same chapter, I am going to go and I prepare for you place. Jesus have a duty to prepare a place for you. Place is not the uh, houses, etc. But you know, you will be in the in, in, in my list. You will be in, in the invitation. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself. He will collect us as God. That where I am, there is ye may be also. So Jesus is a promising us to live with him. In the kingdom of God so he is the one who will collect us he is the one who is going to take us and he is the one who will save us in the same time he says uh, and uh, whether I go uh, you know and uh, way you know you know this English is kind of hard for me to read uh, Thomas he said to him Lord we know not whether you uh, the ghost like you know they, they don't understand where you go which place you want to go where you going you know, they thought he was going to go to a place, you know. Jesus says to them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come, cometh into the Father but by me. So look what Jesus, he claimed. We are focusing about Jesus now in the day of judgment. But he just said that he is life. He is life himself. He is life. He is the truth. The truth is God. For everything yeah. will demolish. And... No one come to the Father except by me. So I am the only way for you. How I am the only way and why? Because I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the one who give life and I'm the one who will collect life. And everything you work for is just to go and to be in the kingdom of my Father. It says here, if, you, if ye had known me, you should have known my Father also and from henceforth you know him and you have seen him philip he said to him listen carefully philip said to him lord show us the father and that is sufficient for us i mean look look how look look look, look at the look what we have now we have a big, big problem for those who call themselves muslims and they say jesus never said on god show us lord he called him god you know our our lord our savior Show us the Father. And that's it. Jesus says to him, Have I been so long with you? And yet has thou not know me, Philip? He has seen me, has seen the Father. And how says thou then show us the Father? Do you want more clear? 
prove <laughs> that Jesus here saying that by seeing him you see the father but not the person but he is the humble image of the invisible God so this is the unity we're talking about the ikhad by seeing Jesus you see the father okay yeah the it makes sense I mean like I said I didn't have question whether Jesus um, you know says that he's, he's is God or not? My question was, uh, what what it means by these verses? Yeah, you, you see, you see the, the issue, yeah. the issue. I understand, but you know, the issue is, you know, you are coming from Islamic background. Muhammad is a story is shallow. This is very deep. This is very deep. Like, look, uh, 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 when he says, "I am in the Father, and the Father is in me." I mean, this is really deep. This is not just a statement to take it in, in the appearance, like. He is in the Father, and the Father in me, and the one who saw me, he saw the Father. But and then somebody will say, "Well, you are not the Father. How we can see you? And by seeing you, we see the Father." Very simple. This is what the Trinity is about: God, the Son, humble Himself. God humble Himself. He come to us in the image of a man. By seeing this man who is called Yeshua, you saw the humble image of the glory, the glorious God. So by seeing me, you saw the Father, for I am born of the Father. So either we take everything Jesus said into consideration, or we take only one statement so we can make a movie about it and say Jesus says, no one knows the day except the Father. Yeah, I see. But as you see, yeah. you know, everything here, you know, if, if Jesus is, uh, by making such a statement, if he is not God, according to the Jews, he deserved to die. Because he just claimed that he is God. He claimed that he is actually in the Father in me, and I am in the Father, and the one who saw me, who saw who? Who saw God? Yeah, I read about it. Like uh they the the Jews got really angry because he called himself Exactly, he's called Lord. himself God. You know, this is what, uh, so so when when even when the Muslims like speak about Jesus, the Jews want to kill him. They want to kill him for what? For being prophet? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't agree to to the Islamic point. Yeah. It does not make sense. Either you say God was incompetent in delivering Jesus, that He made a new religion, or Jesus was incompetent for not delivering His message. You know what I'm saying? You got to pick your poison. So I really don't believe an Islamic point of view. It doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. Yeah. So and, that's and, why and I my don't friend, believe in Islam. My friend, right? I'm I, learning I, about I am a very I'm passionate person, now. so don't think I'm like upset from you asking the questions, but I am a very passionate person and I speak from all my my my, my soul when I talk to you. So I'm happy actually you're asking those questions. And yeah, I, I mean even if you got upset, I still would No, ask. no, no, I'm not upset. No, no. <laughs> I might sound yeah. like you know, like I'm excited and etc. and you know, shouting, but the fact is, you know, I, I'm trying my best with my limited English to help you. The problem is, I was, uh, you see, I, was, I can do way better in explaining uh, uh, the stupid Quran because the, the language is mine, you know, wow. but and, and the Quran is stupid, you know, I mean, there's nothing. But when it's come to the Bible, you, you need really uh, a good, like I wish I speak in Arabic. So the, the language skills can limit me in order to explain to you how beautiful what Jesus is saying. But you, yeah, I, yeah, that's why I say I need to study more about it to completely like understand the like the message from god right yeah uh, like i completely left islam i found way too much problems with it so now i'm studying christianity and like i said i'm watching videos as well but yeah i was just upset about the comments uh, i'm not saying like Don't... i'm just saying like people they, they're they're calling themselves christians but they're acting like they're Muslims, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I understand. You know, this is why I said to you, we, we don't, know, we don't know even who is in the chat. There's many. Yeah. They try, and they are Muslims. They try to make you angry, so you will hate Christianity. They do that. You know, there's, there's a, there's a website. I don't know if you know about it. This story. There was a guy. He was debating Sam Shamoon in a website. All right. So, uh, Sam Shamoon he answered him. Then he answered the Sam Shamoon. And then the Muslim he answered him, and then Sam Shamoon answered him, and later the owner of the website they found that the same person have the same IP address. Okay, so he was making so it up. So he is he is Sam Shamoon. He is a Muslim, playing okay. Sam Shamoon. He want to make Sam Shamoon look look bad. So oh. he make a name as Sam Shamoon account, 
and he make an account as Muhammad whatever and then Sam Shamoon answering himself supposedly but it's, oh. it's the same Abdul and he don't know that know that those website they have an IP you know anyone visit their website they can see especially in those blogs when you post a comment they have your IP there in their in their system so the stupid idiot he forgot that if by changing the name will not change anything still they can find there's no way that Sam Shamoon and his enemy are living in the same room <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, people do that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know what they get from it. I mean, if they want to find the truth, find the the actual word of God, you know, this kind of stuff is just. Yeah, yeah my friend, I I don't want you to become a Christian blindly. I you know we want people who they are smart, intelligent, and your intelligent and your soul will lead you. Uh, don't depend on me too. I want you to be more spiritual when you read. Try to uh, to live the story. Not just to ask the ask the questions, go deep, you know. Yeah. But try to read actually, the story, and you see how how this is very spiritual. This is not just a statement. It's not just a phrase. Jesus says, "My Father." Even the word "Father" have a very deep meaning. You know, "Father" mean provider, mean protector, mean everything. Everything belong to the Father. So even when he we ask we, we, they ask him how to pray, he says, "Pray like this: Our Father out of heaven." So. The word father in Christianity present love, not just authority. This is why yes, when we exactly. pray to God, yeah, we don't pray it's to a him. relationship with, with God. Exactly. I actually had, had dreams. Uh, I've seen Jesus in my dream. That's why I got more enthusiastic in learning about Christianity because uh, dreams. I mean, uh, I'm thinking because I'm reading maybe, but, you know, it just felt special. My friend, with, with, with the Christ, you will always feel special. And this is why. As I said, we called God. We call, you see, did you notice that Christian when they called the Messiah? They say the Messiah, they didn't say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, and yet we worship him, right? I mean, isn't this is really crazy? This is how humble he is. Do you know that the Messiah, he washed the feet of his followers? Yeah, yeah. I okay. Know. How he is God, yet he's washing the feet. Let's ask the question then. He's God, yet he insists that he should wash their feet. It doesn't make sense. But if you read it, you will see. He was teaching them that if in order to be a master, you have to be a servant. So if I am the son of God washing the feet, what do you do? So Jesus is, is not just a statement, is not just words, is not a speeches, is a person who is holy. He act holy and his, it, 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 I don't want to say the word ethic because ethic means nothing compared to him. He's way higher. He's love your enemy. What is it? What there's no ethic in the word says love your enemy. That is that is even crazy to say, but because he is love. So when we say father, we speak about love. When we say the son, for God he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. That is love. And this is why the Bible says, Love never fail. All yes, yes, I I really like this one verse in Bible about like love it says. Love is, uh, I forgot, love is kind. Love is kind, like, okay, yeah. But but, yeah. You, but you see, uh, 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 but the, the, I need to ask yourself, why it, the, why, you know, uh, why the Bible focus in love? For everything in Christianity is about love. Everything, everything. God is about love. The Son is about love. Life is about love. Without love, we are just animals. And who, what gave us, what gave us the value of love? It is we are created not like animals. Yes, yeah, so. we are and, you different. Know, one of the commenters is asking, "What was the dream about?" Do you want me to say? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, it wasn't clear, but I saw like Jesus appearing. I was in a boat, like a big ship or boat, something. Yeah. And uh, there was some kind of war, and there were soldiers, and Jesus was healing them. Wonderful. Yeah, now, I don't know what it means, but that's what I saw. Well, my friend, you see, uh, uh, sometime I believe there are some people they have a special uh, treatment. And I'm jealous from you because I did not see a dream like this. This is amazing. This is beautiful for me. For me, I feel really jealous, but in a good way. I'm happy for you to see that you saw such a thing. But I want you not to look at the, the chat again. <laughs> I, I allow it. I want you to focus with me. But you need, you know, you see, that's mean you have a very good... Uh, 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 like they, they, I believe that the Lord is trying to give you a hand. He's trying to help you, and the dream is coming to you is a clear message that you are you are going to be home with me. 
so ask your questions but the best person to ask is the Lord not just me I will do my best I'm the humble me try to explain to you the amazing him that is a very difficult job to do for someone like me but I understand God as love and because he is love I think love can explain itself which is nobody can explain it's a miracle I mean why why the mother she is in love with her son why uh, uh, why she cry for his cry why 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 uh, why why people they give donation to somebody is poor I mean he is not he is not you he is angry not you so human being is giving gift by God which is called love and God in Christianity is the only God because there's many gods they are false gods the only one who is all about love love never end love everything will pass away prophecy will pass away but love will stay and you yourself if you go back in your memory, in memory you will find that people who hurt you you remember them and people who loves you they live with you not only you remember them they live with you when you remember them you will have you know you have tears in your eyes yeah yeah you cannot uh, yeah it was it was really touching you know because uh the dream was touching but anyways um it's quite late and i'll if i have questions i'll come back my friend you are welcome and yeah happy. i almost cried because uh, you know i felt really touched but anyways i'll talk to you later and uh, you cried because you for... i said what what sentence touched you what you said why, why you felt cry you want to cry <laughs> no no <laughs> you know i mean when you're coming from islamic culture yeah. uh, men don't cry <laughs> no you know that is a that is the that is actually one of the stupid things I know, I know, but I'm just I, I'm programmed in such a way yeah, like yeah. you know, crying yeah. is you have to hold your tears really, really, really hard. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my friend, uh, you, you better try to get rid of uh, of Islam out of your system, so you can enjoy life. Yes, uh, Islam is out of my system. I mean, culture will stay. You know, there's certain things that stay with you, and uh, but I have only love in my heart, as you know. Uh, that's why I'm looking for like Jesus more than anything. So uh, uh, Islam is out of my. <laughs> yeah. My well, heart. I'm happy for you, and I hope soon you will be accept the Messiah. And for sure, you know, for uh, uh, you accept him, you don't accept him, and he will not, he will lose nothing. I will win nothing. It's your life. You know, we believe in salvation, and those who deserve it, they will have it. And uh, you know, like uh, 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 a, a fire department. Uh, they come to your door they say if you don't do this the fire will eat your house and you say I don't care don't worry I don't care but the, the, one day the fire will come and all of us we will pay we will pay for our ignorance we will pay for rejection and uh, in the same time you see Christianity it change a human being as we said love can change you make you a different person will make you a different person with your children will make you a different person with your wife because you will not think about your wife as a woman just for sex and babies. Love, my friend. Love in Christianity is the key of happiness. When you have love, your life is happy. Love will make you a new person. You love even your enemy, which means you don't go to sleep cursing them, angry, upset. You are you want to kill them. Love, love can heal. Love can destroy hate love can break borders love can make new families look at those people many of them they always they you know if i if i if i say i have a pain many they cry for me because they have love not because they know me i never met them i never know them but because they have love for god he put love inside us and we are a family of love not only family of jesus for jesus himself is love for he came to this earth for god he loved the world not because he want to have a tourist trip for the sake of love jesus came to this earth and because of his love we will be saved and because of his love we love everybody so love always is is a is a, is a positive thing can be transformed from a person to a person it's not a material 
and nobody can stop it but you have to believe in it and you have to believe in such a power and then you will become a new person and that's why we Christian we believe that when you believe in Jesus you are born again why you are born again because you are born with love you are born with Jesus for Jesus is love and even when he was in the cross he showed his love he says father forgive them they do not know what they are doing love absolute love on the cross yet he is thinking of them he loved them this is how Jesus my friend so we as a Christians even if we are in the cross we love for the best of us is Jesus and the best of us is love and the more we love the more we are living a human being. Jesus, he brings us actually back to our humanity. Other beliefs make you an animal. Focus in yoga, focus in yourself, or focus in revenge like Islam, or focus in money and, and wealth. But with Jesus, you come back to your humanity. You go back to the heaven. You go back as God he made you first time in the garden of Adam and Eve. I mean, I understand. Yeah, well, I uh, gotta go. I was just saying, uh, I saw the Evelyn. She come. She said she apologized, and it's okay. I don't mind. I'm just saying, like as a Christian, I think I don't expect you know Christians to act like this. That's all my saying. But anyways, um, my friend, if uh, let us have love in our heart and forgive, yeah. you know, that's, that's let us practice it, you know, because yeah. even if the person is a Christian, I do mistakes sometimes. You do mistakes sometimes. We are not. We are yeah. not the perfect one. But uh, as you said, some Christians, they are ignorant and they do silly stuff. And instead of helping somebody to come to Jesus, they make him run away. And you are right. You know, people are ignorant. People don't count even to 10 before they open their mouth. People are silly. People are stupid. But this is what people are. We don't we don't want. And, and, and but the, but the, but the smart of us, when he do stupid thing, he apologize because he understood that he did something wrong. So this is why a great example for the Christians. When somebody is talking to me and he is trying to ask questions, don't be aggressive. You are acting like Muslims. Where is the love of Jesus inside you? We are yes. how we can teach people about Jesus, how much loving he is, and yet you don't have love yourself. That means you yourself, you claim to be a Christian. You don't know who's Jesus. And maybe the yes, person I mean, who is not a Christian yet, he knows Jesus better than you. Yeah, if somebody's trolling, that is something. You know, you can, you know, make fun of that person because he's trolling. It's like, uh, but I, I was just, you know, or other people who yeah, are friend, literally le, just le, looking le, for, you uh, know. Amir, learn, learn from me. People make fun of me all day long. They make fun of my English. They make fun of my grammar. They make fun. I laugh because simply, you know, uh, uh, you have to build a confidence inside you. And that's, you know, I know who I am. And people making fun of me or making mockery or bully, that will not change anything. The bully is a bully. He is bullying himself. He is just empty from inside. So be strong. And this is my advice to you. Like, don't yeah. let people make comment about you, affect you. I don't... mean, when Muslims do it, I don't really mind because I expect them to be like this. I understand. Like I understand. When you I... are disappointed. Yeah. You are disappointed. I understand. And I, but, you, but you see, I don't look at the chat. I don't, me, myself, I don't look at the chat because yeah. we don't know who is talking. And, you know, people, they have different education. People, they have different ages. People, you know, we, we cannot say... When we say Christian, doesn't mean we have a, a, like a, a hair comp and all of them, they are in the same height and close to Jesus. All of them, they have the same uh, uh, like uh, act. No human, you know, there's, there's, there's people wearing cross, but they are, they are pimps. There's people wearing cross, but they are drug dealers. There's people wearing cross, but they are uh, uh, child molesters. So my friend, don't judge Jesus by me. Yeah, you know, I I don't, but I'm just saying, if somebody is is planning to be true Christian, close to God, then, uh, you know, watch his words. Like when Muslims, they they will be like, oh, you're you're not, you're never a Muslim, you're at, you know, all those things. I expect them to be like they don't know anything, right? Yeah. So I don't really mind. We don't know. We don't know, my friend. We yeah. don't know who's yeah, in anyways. the chat. I don't know them, and uh, uh, you know, uh, just take it easy and uh, yeah. try next time when you call me. Don't look at the chat. <laughs> Don't look at okay. the I mean, right. we yeah, have like um, uh, we have eight hundred people, like you know, and uh, who knows who is there.
<laughs> who knows yeah i mean i i was i just look at it the christians what they're saying because i you know i expected some feedback but anyways yeah it's uh it's 12 39 here yeah. and uh, just one one more already... thing before you go my friend jesus he said not everyone says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father so there's maybe yeah. maybe almost three billion christian but doesn't mean that all of them they will go to heaven for jesus he said but the one who do the will of my father so not all of those who they are Christian in the chat, they are Christian. There's many of them, they are Christians by name. Even the one who defend Christianity, but maybe because he's defending because he think it's an identity for him, not because he's true Christian. So my friend, always learn one thing. There's only one person to look at, is Jesus. Never look at me. I don't deserve to be the person, yes. to be the scale. All of no, us. No one, yeah. Yeah. God is the only perfect being. We're all sinful, right? Exactly. So, Thank you very much, my, my friend. Right. Um, uh, good night and talk to you later, okay? God bless you and we pray for you to accept Jesus soon. Yeah, I'm studying. Thank but you. thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. We have. Uh... <clears throat> Let us see. You see, what happened today is a great example how some foolish people, they are foolish. I say shame on you. You see, Jesus, he said he want fishermen. And what do you do? You start insulting the person who is asking question to know Jesus. You act like Muhammad when the blind man he come to him to ask him about what? About Allah. What Muhammad he did? He insulted him. Why? Because he's a blind man. What if the blind man he see? He will not ask. He's trying. And what do you do? You push him away, the same as Muhammad. This is why people, who is the one who he mentioned his name, Eveline? Who is Eveline? Who is this person, Eveline? I didn't see this person. I'm looking at the name. I don't see it, Eveline. If you see the name, please block it. I don't want to see such a name person here. I don't care if she said sorry or not. You want to be the reason for a human being not to be saved because of your stupid comments? We spend hours, we spend days, we spend years here to save a human being. And then you come with silly comment, you make them run away. If you see her again, please block her. She is not welcome. Would I forgive? No problem. But why Why people, they are acting, you know, uh, what kind of a Christian you are? You see, you give us a bad reputation by doing a stupid act in the chat. The person, we spend hours to make him leave Islam. And then we spend hours to make him understand Christianity. And then you make your stupid comment. Anyway, he's a nice person, and he, if he accepts Jesus or not, this is his business. Still, he's a nice person, and I respect him. He is thinking, he's trying. He don't want to be a blind man who jump into something he don't understand, which is very good. We are not the same as Muslims who just say Shahada and become a Muslim. We don't want a bunch of fools to join us. We want the smart ones. We want the quality. We want the one who understand what he believe in. And remember one thing, 
I don't know how many Christians are there between you, but doesn't mean if you call yourself a Christian, you are saved. If you cannot save others, you are not saved. Because what is the use of you? You know the bees? The insect, it's an insect. It's better than you if you don't do anything. Because bees, they can they, they can make fruits. Because of bees, because of insect, they have a job, they have a job to do. If a human being, he spent his life, he never tried to explain something about the Bible once in his life. He never tried to bring someone to Christ once in his life. So what you are living for? Go watch TV, go. Don't come here. It's Saturday night, it's Sunday night. I stay with you. I come every day. I spend hours and hours and hours. When I try to stand up, my knee hurt me from sitting, holding myself. And when I speak, I'm speaking from my heart. My hand is moving. I'm, you know, I'm not relaxed because simply I am speaking from all my heart, passionate. So when I try to stand up, it's a lot of pain. You are relaxed in your chat, trying to destroy the work I do. The person almost was going to cry he was touched by what I was saying but he was very offended by what people say in the chat so the devil inside you make a disturbance to this person anyway so I want to say guys thank you for being here I think we have enough for today I'm here for how many hours? Four hours already. Maybe tomorrow I will take a break if I could. Sometimes I say to myself, I will take a break. It's enough, it's enough. Every day is many hours. But same time, sometimes I feel guilty. I say, you can do it. And what you will say to the Lord? You want to relax? So we hope, we hope that we can do better and better. And you see, we, he mentioned, he mentioned uh, uh, Nabil Qurashi. Nabil Qurashi, a very humble person, nice person, he passed away. But can you believe it that even when you are dead, you can change the life of people? He like, he said he like Nabil Qurashi. So you see the difference? A living person in the chat, he can make someone run away from Christ. A dead person in the grave, he can touch a person. And bring him to Christ. Do you see the difference? I don't care who apologizes, who is not. If you don't fit to be here, you cannot keep your mouth shut, leave. You see, when Jesus describes us as fishermen, fishing means need patient, fishing needs skills, and fishing is a good fishing, is not to eat the fish is to save the fish. So if you cannot be that person, don't come here. And don't force me to stop the chat. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we are happy for our friends. Our friend uh, Amir, you know, he is searching, and I hope soon he will have a, he will have good answers. And uh, I understand everything he is saying. You know, he is really being, uh, being himself, asking the question he should ask. Uh, but I, my advice to everybody who want to know about Jesus, including the Christians, Jesus is a is is a life. Not only a life, he is a life. Which means, if you want to understand a person, even a normal person. You understand him through his life story, not a day in his life. Yet even Jesus, not a day of his life, was not a good person, amazing person. But if you want to understand Jesus, don't let the Muslims fool you by quoting two words Jesus said and forgetting the rest. 
This is how the devil, he tried to play with your mind. Remember everything Jesus, he said, and everything Jesus did, and then you can evaluate if this person is God or not. So if you want to remember what Jesus said about the day of judgment, remember Jesus says that he is going to be the judge in the day of judgment. Remember that he said, I am the way, I am the life, I am the resurrection. Remember that he is the one who create, is the creator. Remember that he is the one who give life. He is the one who resurrect. He is the one who make a blind see, heal the leper. He made endless number of miracles. So remember everything about Jesus in order to understand Jesus, not only in one phrase. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. And until we see you, I don't know if tomorrow I will be able to come. I always say my to myself, oh, tomorrow I'm not coming the day I leave. <laughs> Second day I show up. <laughs> I will try to resist. <laughs> You know, because it's very delicious, by the way, I want to use the word delicious, that to be able to change the life of somebody, it's delicious, it is wonderful, it's amazing. It is so, uh, so lovely when you speak about your Lord and speak with love, and then you will see how that would impact a human being because he feel it as what happened to our friend. And what, what touched him is not my words, it is the love which I have from my Lord. He is the one who touched him. I was speaking of his love, not mine. And he felt he want to cry. So try, if you want to bring people to Jesus, try to learn how to use what Jesus gave you as love. You have it. If you really love Jesus, then you have it. Show it. Don't be the aggressive. I mean, there's people who they are filthy, etc. I understand. But the person is just asking questions. He's being nice. He's not being rude. He's just asking questions. What we should do? We should show him love and give him the answers. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. Have a great Sunday. And if it's cold for you, enjoy the cold. Stay warm. Stay healthy. We pray for the poor. We pray for the rich. We pray for the sick. We pray for the healthy. We pray for Muslims, we pray for the Christians, we pray for the Hindus, that they will see the truth, and the truth will set them free. And they will ask the Father to provide them, to help them, to care for them. Because you are sick, He came to you. Jesus said, I came to the sick, not for the healthy. And my friend, each one of us, He have His own sickness. All of us, we need Jesus. Even the one who we just think, I am very healthy. All of us, we need him. So pray for him to help you and pray for him to help others. Pray that the Lord, the Messiah, will not leave us alone. If we are alone, we are doomed. God bless you and see you soon again. This is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. Take care.